Hello and welcome to this session where we will learn about arrays in TypeScript. In TypeScript, an array is a collection of elements of the same data type. You can think of an array as a list of values where each value has an index that indicates its position in the list. Let's take an example of how you declare an array. So here is an example that shows you how you can declare an array in TypeScript. The name of the array is numbers and the data type is number. And the indices for these arrays start from 0 to 4. As you can see, we have 5 elements in our array. And the index position always starts for an array from the value 0 all the way up to the n minus 1. So let's say we have 5 elements in our array. So our index will start from 0 all the way to 4, which is n minus 1. Now in order to access any of the elements, you will provide the index number of the particular element that you want to access. Let's move on to the Visual Studio code and see how you can perform these concepts practically. Alright, so here we are on to the Visual Studio code. Now the first thing that we will do is we will declare numbers, which is the name of the array in our case, and then we will declare the number data type. And then the square brackets over here tells the TypeScript that, okay, the user is trying to declare an array over here. And then within the square brackets, we will provide the elements that we want to enter into our array. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Which represents that our array with the name numbers have 5 elements. Those are numbers starting from 1 to 5. Now let's say you want to access the third element of this array. So what do we do in that case? So as we already discussed that the element can be access with the help of the index number. So if we are talking about the third element, the index number becomes 2 in that case. So let's see console.log and then we will provide the name of the array which is numbers and then in the square brackets you provide the index number. So in our case the third element has an index number of 2. So you can see we get our third element which was 3 in our case when we provided the correct index number which was 2. Now let's also take an example of an array for the string data type. So let's say we will declare names and this will be string data type and let's say we have names as Alice, John and William. In the same way you can also access the elements of an array for the string data type as well. So let's access one of the index. So we have names and then I'm trying to access the zeroth index over here. So what should we get as an output is Alice. So let's just run it. And you can see over here we get Alice as an output. Now within the arrays you can also perform different operations. As you know over here you have different elements. Those are inside the index. You can perform addition, subtraction or any other operation. Let's have an example over here. So let's say I'm going to declare a variable as result of addition and then we will take the two indexes. Those are index 0 from our array over here which will be 1 and then add it with the third index. So we know on the 0 index we have 1 and on the third index we have 4. So the answer should be 5 in our case. I will do a console.log and then we will print the result of addition. Let's run it. And you can see over here we get an output of 5 which is correct because 1 plus 4 is equals to 5. So with this basic lesson I hope you have got an understanding of what are arrays in TypeScript and how do you access different elements and how you can use them in your different operations that you want to perform.